How many of you delicious people have been in me today is a win three battles with any Mighty Morphin Power Ranger hero and or villain leader. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing through this review or this review. This video today. Blah, 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 blah. A little scrambled within talking. I think once I got to uh, the uh, review that I did today, uh, which ultimately is on my secondary channel, uh, Grim Death Griffin. Bizarrely, it's weird to say that now, but yeah, it's on there. Uh, recently, it was just kind of like after the second movie that I did, did in that same video, I was like, blah, 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 blah. So ultimately, when going to this, I'm probably going to be a little bit blah, 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 because we're close to probably at some point wrapping up uh, a day of uh, probably going longer than we probably should have. But eh, anyways, it ends up being what it is every day. It's okay. So, going into here, we are going to, of course, be playing with uh, Andros and Gia, of course, still. Uh, yeah, and also with Zack, the man with the shield, because ultimately, I don't know, I don't want to give up on Gia. I want to I kind of see how it uh, kind of goes with this, uh, with this team. So we're going to try to justifiably get into here. And here's the thing. Like, I would try, like, checking out if any of the Power Rangers that eventually you remember are doing any YouTube channels. Or even, like, check out if they're doing just kind of anything. If you ultimately were a fan of Power Rangers... Like, maybe uh, check out if they did any horror films, or if they did any, uh, if they did any, uh, like, side projects besides just Power Rangers. Definitely check it all out, because without a doubt, it could reasonably be, like, something that actually helps any of these people during these times, which they can't do Comic-Cons, or... They have to, like, try to, like, figure out what are they going to do now because reasonably it's like, oh, man, well, I love doing all these, like, uh, these signings and all this other stuff. Now it's a little bit harder to do that now. Uh, some of them, I think, are doing, like, Zoom calls, and that's great. Uh, some of them are trying to do stuff, uh, which ultimately they might not be completely aware of, so... Uh, I can't wait for them to have continued success uh, in maybe a, another adventure. Maybe they're going to just go like, well, yeah, I used to do all these signings, all these conventions, but like kind of now, like we're just kind of doing this and hope everything's going to work out after that. Um, yeah, it's it kind of sucks for like a lot of people that ended up doing like certain avenues or certain adventures that oh now you leave oh, of course so reasonably like i i would i tried to like watch a lot of the interviews that a lot of the people would do just kind of see, like, oh, hey, like, that's nice. Like, geez, Jason David Frank would probably be the poster boy for uh, kind of doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, and I see now, like, he's doing, like, he's trying to do some signings that are still, like, uh, that are still, uh, like, social distancing. and And everybody's wearing a mask. He's wearing a mask. And, like, I saw that through his feeds. I'm like, oh, good for him. I think I saw it uh, through Facebook. So, good for him that he's, like, say, hey, man, like, like I just want to, I just want to get, I just want to be with my fans. Like, uh, like, this is hard on everybody. And, like, we're going to try to do something. Uh, because reasonably, like, like, it's not all about the money. It's just that. Like people, we need we need we need them to know that we care and like we want to give them some kind of normalcy in in this. I think that's why like you get like Chris Jericho, that's of course uh, from Fozzy, that was trying to do like was trying to do concerts with like minimal people, 
just to see if ultimately they could actually have uh, actual concerts or just recently have uh, people in like people come to shows and what would be the, the most minimal number and then eventually can be safe uh, to really get to understanding parameters and what would work and what it, what isn't going to work. So yeah, it's, it's just like, Hey man, like we, we do want to have it to be that people can, um, still go out and like, and ultimately just like, well, man, it sucks at the, that this person that I actually really liked hearing from or like ultimately like I I liked seeing the interviews. I liked seeing the, the Comic-Con paddles and seeing any number of any celebrity that it's just like, like, hey, like, like instead of doing a meet and greet or whatever, like how about we just... We just do Zooms. We just go into, like, uh, God, what was it? Like, Reunited Apart, where you had uh, the guy that was, that played Olaf, uh, I think was Josh Gad, ultimately doing reunion things. Uh, I think a lot of it was for charity, which was great. Uh, you got a lot of uh, people pitching in to do some of their lines and, that was kind of fun. Like, I just wish that there was, like, kind of something for everything. To where everybody would just be like, well, hey, yeah, I'm, like, who knows when we're really going to legitimately go and do more panels and more, con and more cons and stuff like that. So, how about just do reunion stuff where everybody just comes in and pitches in and just does a reunion show on some channel somewhere. I'm not saying that Sabin all of a sudden has to pitch in to do all these, like, uh, Zoom calls or whatever, because not everyone will do them, because reasonably it's like, well, I want every single Power Ranger from season blah 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 to be here and do this Zoom thing, and not everyone will do it. Uh, I think there was, like, me thinking it's like, well... Like, how could we still easily still do on any number of stuff uh, and have it be a new normal kind of parameter? And it's like, well, can't do that. <laughs> like, ultimately, anybody who owned a gym, I'm like, man, does that kind of freaking suck? Because uh, reasonably, there's a lot of people that... That ultimately, like, instead of building a gym in their own home, there we go. I'm like, is it gonna happen? Uh, I guess it will. Uh, maybe not. Um, but yeah, like, some people love just going out to the gym. Maybe a lot of people met their wives or their their guys or whatever by going to a gym and now or maybe people worked at a gym and then this is like yeah yeah that gym is just man that's like, like some gyms were even trying to do private lessons and and people were like oh no you cannot do private lessons we're closing you down uh, some people were doing, like, private church gatherings, and they were getting arrested for that. It's like, no, you can't do that. It, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's preaching good work. No, sorry. You can only have a certain capacity of people in this place. Rules are rules. Lockdowns and such. I just was watching, uh... Kevin Smith's uh, video about him uh, where they start talking about the Mandalorian and ultimately they were on lockdown. I'm like, wow, really? Like, we're back to that again? Holy crap. 
Man, what round and round do we go about this whole thing? But that's that's the problem. Like, we supposedly have a vaccine that is eventually going to come out. I hope it's sometime eventually in the near future. Year, the next year, I hope. But yeah, like, I think it's a... I think it's a great thing that we are doing streaming movies now. I think, why isn't that every movie should not be at the cusp of just being on a streaming thing somewhere? Not saying that, like, I'm sure a lot of actors or actresses might say, it's like, dude, I don't freaking want my thing on a streaming service. Then I won't make money. Everybody's going to be like, well, why will I need to buy the Blu-ray DVD? Because blah, 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 blah. I get it. I understand it, like, but then also when looking at it, it's a lot of the actors or actresses probably get a fraction of that uh, rental cost anyways, to be brutally honest. So, it's great to just be like, yeah, I honestly think if people were to to go into business for themselves, so to speak. Uh, like, I think a lot of the WWE uh, stars end up, like, doing their own YouTube channels. And I think that that was a way to get them to eventually go, like, hey, man. If I end up getting letting let go from WWE because of this whole COVID business, at least I will have this thing. Uh, there's some people that recently were just sitting around not doing anything in WWE. They weren't they weren't getting ring time. So recently they just turned into doing some social media stuff because they had nothing better to do. Uh, sadly, yeah, you get like uh, Matt Cardona and Brian Myers that ultimately they weren't getting booked. And then that eventually led to uh, them getting released, which I thought was like, God, what a missed opportunity. Like, here's some guys that you could have had, like, be your action figure marketing team for this company. But instead, they didn't do that. They effed that up. But I I saw that uh, Brian Myers was actually on Impact. Good for him. He's playing a heel, I guess. It's interesting. Uh, I think I saw him uh, wrestle uh, Swoggle. Or, uh, yeah, Swoggle, I think. I remember him as Hornswoggle, but evidently just going to Swoggle. Perfectly fine. So, uh, Brian, uh, Brian is healed. I guess, I guess he always likes to be healed. But anyways, wrestling stuff, n like, but yeah, I think everybody should just go into business for themselves instead of, like, I just found it interesting that it seems like it took people to get a YouTube channel to actually have success in other means at some point. Well, uh... I don't know about everyone, but, like, there's some people that I think retroactively, like, I think got more work by simply doing a YouTube channel consistently. Like, I think there was, like, oh, hey, like, this person is doing really well on YouTube, I guess. We should actually, like, uh, give them a role in some movie or something. I think it just takes the right... I think it just takes the right uh, thing to go into. And I think a new approach really does... Uh, like, if you really gave yourself some street cred in... in doing your... in doing your, your YouTube channel, just don't come on there and just start having people ask you questions all day and just Q and A all the time. I think that might work too, where maybe you could get it to where 
some random person might be like, oh, what's, uh, what's, uh, Andros from Power Rangers in Space up to now? Oh, he, he talks about, uh, anime and how much he loves anime. Oh, well, that might be interesting. Maybe he'll want to do voiceover work. Uh, like, you might get that, but I think reasonably... I think it might just be better off if you just kind of, like, just kind of either turn to some, like, newsing, newsing, news avenue where you're telling people the news or maybe some stuff that you've heard about. Maybe not concretely say, like, yeah, I, I, I know exactly this is coming out because reasonably any new stuff, uh, you'll have to take it with a grain of salt. Ultimately, I think a lot of people could admittedly just talk about their uh, their past successes, especially if they uh, either might be retired or they might not think about going back into acting. Maybe they might be doing something after this, so or after acting, which is kind of, or maybe they're just like, yeah, I wish that this would all pan out and. You could be, like, some good news. You could really find out a lot of stuff about people. Do something that, uh, in some ways, figures out a way to help them. I don't know. I don't know why I'm, I'm kind of giving people ideas of, like, as if celebrities are all going to come and compile onto here. It's never going to happen. But anyways, I don't know. It's just an odd, odd, odd thing. But, yeah, I think... There's a lot of people that end up uh, doing the, the Zoom calls. I think uh, the cast of uh, a couple of people from Smallville, uh, Michael Rosenbaum and Tom Welling, and I think uh, Kristen, who played Lana on that show, I think they all did like Zoom calls and stuff, the whole cast. So I think there are a whole, there are like, Zoom calls of the cast just kind of chatting it out and just kind of reflecting on old times. So, like, that's real cool. Because there might be some people that might be like, well, yeah, but, like, some Power Rangers season sucked and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So what? There's always got to be a fart and a rainbow that happens at some point, so... Not everybody's going to like every single season of every single whatever. It's just, it's like, oh, well, but when you look at it, I'm sure a lot of those Power Rangers went on to do a lot of crap <laughs> afterwards because a lot of them were either, one, really effing attractive, or two, well, all right, we lost there. That was great. Let's uh, let's try this one more time. Uh, yeah, let's let's just keep on doing the the whatever the presets are. Seems reasonable. But yeah, so reasonably, what I was saying is like a lot of them are really just either so attractive or actually they actually had some reasonable talent. And interesting enough you would kind of get eventually to where you would see yeah i only had to do a couple of fights and easily won but yeah like sadly enough with the power rangers shows you didn't see really any freaking range of of some characters at some point but Eventually, luckily, they went on to do just bigger and better things, and luckily that actually helped them to catapult them to keep getting work. Good good for them. So maybe uh, some of them are probably uh, retiring somewhere, sipping off mojitos. And... But when looking at it, they, they deserve it. They, they worked harder. They were just uh, mesmerizing to look at, so. But yeah, a lot of people are still putting in the work. There are still good-hearted people that 
Well, it's just like, hey, man, it's not about me. It's about the fans. And that's like always a great thing where it's more than just like, it's more than just like, you know what? Like, I know there's probably someone out there that probably was giving me crap. But I don't care, man. Like, F it. Like, I'm going to keep going on and doing this and, and, and trying to see if ultimately how many people will want to like see a reunion of sorts or see a, uh, a zoom call or whatever. Uh, God dang it. Ah, yeah, so I lost. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm babbling on nonsense in this video. Uh, I, I'm going on very, ooh, I got the head of that. Yeah, that is all I needed to get that. Yes, I can unlock that freaking Zord now. Thank goodness. Whoo, but yeah, just kind of babbling on nonsense. I, I, I would say that I apologize, but justifiably, you kind of get what you can get with these videos. They all go to the, the same random nonsense and like, but anyways, I just hope that all the, uh, all of everybody is, all the celebrities and stuff like that are just doing well. That's all that I wanted to say out of all that. And hopefully uh, everybody has figured out like where to where to pivot and what to do next. Some people might have just been like, well, yeah, I was. I was this person and now I'm like, well. I'm not going to be that person anymore. I'm just going to... I'm just going to retire after this. I'm going to call it a day. Alright, well that... Black Dragon, I guess, is... That is a character that we have unlocked, thankfully. Let's go on more to these battles so we can kind of sweep up some stuff. But I hope every every one of these, that, like, that's the problem. Like, you start to get invested with certain certain characters, and then you see them in a panel somewhere, and like, oh, wow, like, I hope everything's going well with them. Some of the celebrities that you get to know, eventually you realize that, Oh, hey, they did a YouTube channel, or they do Instagram, or they uh, do Snapchat, or they do some other thing. But then eventually they just taper off, and you're like, nah, like, that's too bad. Like, hey, it's it's just good to, to know that they're either happy or they're still uh, seeing success uh, even after everything is what it is now, so... Not not exactly like we need to get updated about every celebrity's life. It's just like, hey man, hope hope you're still happy. Hope things are going well with you, because there's some times where you would just kind of see a lot of people that either would get like bullied about their looks. Uh, like there's some like women that would ultimately mention like they were kind of getting. Or like some celebrities getting bullied about their looks and it's like, man, I feel so sorry for that person that ultimately is just like so what? Like some 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 person was like, Yeah, you only got this gig because of the way you were Not everybody knows everything. Not everybody knows all the information. Reasonably, some number of people could have could have said it's like, oh, well, 
Adam Copeland only got uh, the show Haven because uh, the guy that the WWE wrestler Edge uh, had gotten the show Haven because because uh, of his looks. No, people were fans of WWE and saw his retirement speech and wanted him to like, hey man, do you want to do you want to do you want to be in the show? He was like, heck yeah, this this is great, awesome. That's ultimately what he said. It's ultimately when you go into interviews to just kind of like actually hear from the. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to say that Edge is a horse, but like hearing it from the horse's mouth is is like how, like how they actually felt about it, or how they kind of pivoted for like that's that's why I love to do interviews. You find out interesting stuff. Uh, and it's a person usually being honest or there's uh, some people that are maybe just uh, people that are just saving face and I don't like that at all. I think there's some people that when you go through different interviews they might have different answers and I don't like that at all. But yeah, I think there's some people that are just like, yeah, you're trying to save face. Come on. But yeah, but it's... Again, like, a lot of people through social media, I think that's why a lot of people, like, gave up their YouTube channels or gave up their, uh, gave up doing social media, sadly, because they were having fun doing something, and that was taken away from them by, like, looking at all the comments and just be like, well... You're just you're just good looking, so you got this job. It's not always about that. It's not always about it. Look beyond. Look beyond it. Really. Because probably at a person's resume. I'm looking at this, like, oh, like, you were in Power Rangers? Which season? And they could have said any season. I'm like, hey, yeah, I used to watch Power Rangers when I was a kid. Hey, good for you, schmuck, that you, <laughs> that you were a Power Ranger. I want to cast you just because you were a Power Ranger in in Power Rangers. Because I used to watch that show when it was Mighty Morphin. Hey, good for you, 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 you son of a gun for being being on the show are recently like people took the took Power Rangers and reasonably right after that they actually got acting lessons if they thought that like look at Josh Brolin how basically he's a huge success because reasonably he didn't like how he looked in Goonies so he's like, that's the reason why I didn't do, like, any number of movies after Goonies. Like, he just didn't like the way he looked, so he stopped acting. Uh, took some acting classes, did a couple of movies that uh, kind of went decently okay. And then eventually he started popping off these Marvel movies. And good for him. Good for Josh. Good for Josh Bowen. Lovable guy every interview that I ever saw him in I'm like man he is so much fun and he is just like he's able to make fun of himself and that's the good thing about it is just like hey man like I'm able to have fun of myself like I'm not looking at the looking at myself and just going like man you could have been so and so no it's just I'm happy to be here, and this is what I'm doing, and this is great. And that's how everybody should look at stuff. It's just like... I'm happy to be here, and thank God that this thing landed. Like, I, I saw the, the, the thing where... I think every actor goes through like they're they're struggling to find that one thing that is going to make them the big huge success. Yeah. 
Why can't I get more of that? <laughs> Why can't I get more of that? Uh, hopefully, maybe in the near future, I will get more of that. Uh, get m unlock more of that, I mean. Not mean, like, give me a slice of that. No. Respect. Respect the, the, the peoples. Respect the characters. Some people might be like, Oh, but he just has a... No, I don't. About a celebrity? You kidding me? If anything, there are some people like, Yeah, I'm such a fan of theirs. I like their stuff. I like the cut of their jib, if you want to call it that way. Like, I like their story, they're, they're interesting, they're fascinating. But never in a million years would have just been like, Oh yeah, things are just gonna work out. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, funny enough, like, a lot of people would, like, put posters on their walls and like, Man, if only. It's like, Mmm. Like, dude, I just put posters on my walls because I like this stuff. <laughs> like, it was, like, never, like, a, uh, like, I wanted to put up, like, a, uh, uh, God, what would be an actress that I could have liked at some point? Uh, like, I didn't put, like, a Sigourney Weaver uh, poster on my wall. Uh, when she was doing Ghostbusters, I'm like, someday, me and that woman, no. Like, I will, like, no, there was nothing like that. Uh, like, Farrah Fawcett or something, even though, to me, that's, uh, probably not my, like, the equivalent of a Farrah Fawcett <laughs> during, uh, the 90s time of which I lived. Uh, what came out in the 90s? Uh, I didn't have a poster of Amy Jo Johnson on my on my, on my my wall somewhere going, if only. No, because reasonably, like, you just put posters on your wall because you liked things. That's what I thought to do. Anybody else would probably do any number of other things. Uh... But anyways, how long have I been talking for? Ten minatos! I'm gonna probably call this a wrap soon. So reason in this video... Nonsense, I know, but maybe there's... Something in here somewhere. It's a video of fighting! Isn't that cool? Eh, whatever. Eh. Sometimes it's just randomly talking about stuff. You run out of stuff to go into so it's just man eh. if anything hey celebrities hope everything's going well for you hope everything's uh still just I'm not saying everybody has to go out of their way to all of a sudden like do zoom interviews so they think that's what you're supposed to do right now but hey you have so many platforms twitches and, and youtubes and If ultimately you're probably not going to be, uh, if probably you're going to probably end up like uh, on your own, twisting in the wind, might as well talk about stuff. I think if people talked more openly about things, people will just be like, wow, I appreciate their honesty. You get some people that you kind of feel like, they are a little bit scripted, even though they're on YouTube. Like, like, they're very rare times where I'm scripted, because tell the transitional words and nonsensical things that go flying out of my mouth, but as if I'm, like, preparing bits at some point, but it's eventually whatever pops in there most of the time. We get it, you, you haven't, no. <laughs> you get it you have to I don't know this video is really just whatever pops probably talk about very old fashioned movies but 
I haven't really seen any lately. Dude, that battle was so freaking close. What the garbage? I was freaking... Uh, I don't want to leave this on a... I don't want to leave this on a loss, because ultimately I want to... I want to leave this on a win. So ultimately we're probably going to wrap this up soon, because... Uh, trying to fish for things sake. It's like, er, get a little tired, get a little sleepy. Uh, cause ultimately I'm trying to like stay up pretty much, uh, normally when I get some shot, uh, to kind of make it so that these videos will go out a reasonable time. Uh, cause yeah, just, uh, uploading them out really late, but Hey, I'm at least trying to put them out on the day. I'm trying to put them out every day. Uh, even though they come out uh, during my time, probably late. But I guess for anybody that lives overseas, I guess, to them, it's like, oh, yeah, he's putting out a video at 9, uh, 9 a.m., which to me will be 9 p.m. <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> Thank God that he's putting them up at 9 a.m. Instead of 9 p.m. or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, oh god, no, we're gonna lose this battle too. F, I hate this character because I lose every time. No, lose to me, purple person. But yeah, so if anyways, I think there's a lot of times where I think people should uh, should be honest to their audience. You know, if I think there's a lot of there's a lot of body images where ultimately, like I think, like I think people ultimately need to say it's like you know what, like there's a lot of people that that gave me crap about like getting roles just because I was good looking. It's like, well, hey, maybe there's at some point you just need to come out and be like, yeah, I was good looking, so what? Like, I'm not ashamed about my looks. It's a good thing. It's like, hey, like, so what? Like you were casted in Dukes of Hazard or whatever because like you just, like, uh, were the one that stood out of, out of the crowd. Oh well. Because I lost another battle. You! You! <laughs> you lost! I'm gonna try one more battle. If we lose again, then in the end we're just gonna... Get old Bubkiss in here, but... But yeah, so... So I think there were a lot of celebrities that ended up getting, like, shamed away from their social medias and shamed away. <sighs> Why? <laughs> I don't get it. Reasonably, it's just... Social media is what it is. If anything, you're just probably there to, to really contact your friends or your actual friends or your family. And YouTube is also a means to just like communicate to people. And I think reasonably people were looking at the wrong comments. They were, they were looking at the wrong comments. Probably people were too focused on the, like, hey, the looks thing or the being bullied about things. It's a sad part. Sad part of it all. Like, why should that matter? You got, all the, you got a lot of celebs that were attacking uh, just, just other people just because, like, yeah, they were giving them crap or whatever, but, nah. It's like... Just treat them like they don't exist. 
there's some stuff where I don't even understand people's comments, so I don't reply to it because I don't understand what it means. Uh, but also, I don't also want to seem ignorant, but I don't know, there's some stuff where it's... So the moral of the story is, hey, I won that match, but I guess the moral of the story is just... So I guess that's a win, so I could have left off at that, but ultimately the video cut off towards the end of that battle. So the moral of the story is just... I don't know why celebrities are just quickly giving up on things. Yeah. Just, hey man, just hang in there. Just... I... Uh... I don't know why it has to get, like, some stuff gets to people, and I don't understand why. But then again, you have other celebrities that are smart about it, and they're just like, meh. Like, there's some people that kind of block them, or kind of just don't listen to them, or whatever, or just, like, good. I'm not saying you have to, like, fuel the fire. I There's just... I think people are just, like, they're farting in a rainbow one day, and that's all they are, and that's okay. People can get angry about things. It's okay. It's all cool. Not saying that, like, people have to have also the best days. Some celebrities can have the worst days as well. People can... Some celebrities can think that they're fat someday and whatever. It's just... Hmm. You win. Good. So I think we'll leave it off at there. We'll call that one. Uh, we'll call that one episode somehow. Justifiably, I'm sure any celebrity will probably tell will probably tell me a, a, a normal human being. It's like, well, like yeah, but you you don't get my side of things. You don't get like, and a lot of a lot of people that probably do like hate comment on certain celebrities so it's like well maybe it's just to like to to tell them to like stiff up her lip or or whatever to to get them to be like who you want them to be but that's never gonna happen they're just going to keep being who they are and hope people will accept them eventually. And that's the whole thing. So I'm going to get out of here before I just... So I'm going to get out of here. Uh, if anything, this was... Uh... This is the one where I was like... Looking back and I'm like, what did I even say in this video? This one was, uh, this one was one where I was just like, I have nothing. <laughs> I got nothing, but at least we had some talking points that eventually made a video. So thank you if anyone watches it. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Thank you for hopefully giving some pleasant comments to any celebrity that is not me because I'm not a celebrity at all. Uh, I'm just a guy that does videos, and hopefully eventually that does something, goes somewhere, uh, gets me involved with uh, eventually a, a bigger thing at some point. But yeah, so right now, goodbye everybody. Bye everybody.